Okay, so my name is James Johnson, I'm 23 and I live in Hampshire. Um, I was really happy to find out that I got a place on this course. Um, I applied because it said it gave sort of young, younger filmmakers an opportunity to get a good experience of how films, short films specifically, are professionally made uh, for a budget with professional distribution. Um, I've had some experience making short films at university, but I was never taken through sort of all the legal side. Um, I like to say the proper way of filmmaking, um, with a budget, taking care of your cast and crew, etc. So I thought this was a great opportunity to basically learn all that. Okay. Don't forget to incorporate Second Light Lab, so that when people are ringing, they'll because you say the course, they won't know what course it could be. Okay, course, sure. yeah, so that's why. So um, do you want to just say um, a bit about um, um, today? You know, being on the Second Light Lab, sure. um, I've you know it's been great for X, Y, Z reasons, sure. perhaps. So today on the uh, Second Light Lab course, I learnt a lot about the, uh, the way a script is developed and how kind of harsh you have to be on yourself if you're writing it yourself. So one really good tip I, I sort of learned was that you constantly need to ask questions about the script and yourself and about the motivations within that. I thought that was really useful. I've heard different intonations of that before, but I think this is probably the best way of putting it for me. Um, because it means you really do try and fine tune every area of a script. Um, that's great. Uh, do you want to talk a bit about, um, you know, because you said you've been to university, yeah. you know, talk a bit about what you've been doing to date, how difficult has it been trying to progress what you want to do, and um, talk a bit perhaps about um, what, what, um, what are your long term goals, perhaps? Because sure. you, know? you say you. You said um, I noticed this morning. You said you know what kind of you know you know what you want to do. Be good, yeah. just a little bit interesting to hear about that. So again, say you know um, remember to sure. incorporate second night lab. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. yeah. So before I have come on this course today for second night lab, I uh, originally did a degree in film studies, which was sort of not as practical as I would have liked, um, but it gave me the chance to use to make short films using quite good equipment. Um, I've been to Cannes Film Festival twice with two short films um, as part of my work with my university. So I have been exposed to the industry in, in quite a good way. Um, but at the same time, I still feel that you can't, can't sort of learn enough, really. Um, my goal, uh, I mean, one of the reasons that I signed up to the Second Light Lab is because I'd like to one day produce. Um, I'm happy at the moment to kind of work entry-level jobs and do work experience and learn all the ins and outs of the film industry and, and the production management side and that's where I'd like to progress. Um, I think you can't really do enough work experience or work for free to make you realise how much you want to work in this industry. So I've done some sort of corporate work, some fictional short film work and recently sort of worked on a feature film for free. So I mean all the experiences have been great and hopefully they'll lead to me to getting where I want to be. And uh, do you want to mention anything else that, um, you know, what, what are your expectations? You know, so um, again, incorporating that, saying okay. being, on the being on the Second Light Lab, okay. my expectation, you know, I want to achieve X, Y, Z, or yeah. I hope we're going to cover whatever. Um, being on the Second Light Lab, I'm really looking forward to the case studies in terms of pre-production. Um, so basically, once you have a script and an idea, or one or the other, you then go to an investor or uh, sort of a fund to get the money um, to make your film and basically I'm really looking forward to seeing how to approach these people, who to approach as well, um, how to get backing, what work needs to go into a proposal before approaching these people. I think that's really, really important. Although it's possible to shoot films without a budget, I think it makes it so much easier for the people involved. So I think that's, that's what I'm really looking forward to. Okay. That's great. And um, just something out of interest for myself, if you can say some stuff about, um, you know, there's always this question that I get asked by young people um, on these sorts of events, um, is should I go to university and study film? So, you don't have to mention university, I don't, you, you, know, no. you don't need to mention that, That's but it'd be just <laughs> interesting to hear a bit of feedback, you know, what sure. what you think, has it benefited so you, you know. Uni just, as opposed to so, well, going, you know, going straight into the workplace. Well, or trying, you know, work experience, going down different route. Is university sure. the thing to do? Does, was it, did it tick the boxes? Do you feel that coming out of it, you've come equipped with 
with lots of skills that actually have benefited you or mm. do you think um, I think university can be a good idea but it depends on a few things one the course so my course was called film studies as opposed to film production or TV and television sorry television and film production um, luckily I was able to still make a lot of practical projects and because I showed such an interest I was given sort of a better amount of uh, exposure to the equipment that was on offer, sort of extra access at weekends and evenings and because there's things like forms that you have to fill in to have the equipment overnight. So the fact that I put in the effort meant that I got a lot more out of it. Um, I had a film uh, that I made for a module in my second year that was accepted to the Cannes Film Festival in the short film corner. And the university, this was the first time anything like this had happened, and they actually flew us out there, all expenses. Um, and that was just an amazing experience. You got to really, really see what kind of scope you're working in. And it gives you that hunger and that passion. Um, similarly, though, I've heard a phrase often chucked around, which is, you will learn more on uh, a set as a runner in one day than you will in three years of university. And I found on the first professional project that wasn't my own that I worked on, I learned so much more about etiquette, protocol, um, the amount of work that goes into a, a, any professional project, a music video, a corporate video, a short film, a feature film. Um, and I think there, there are benefits to both. Um, and I think I'd probably do it the same way if I had the choice again. Um, but that's not to say that the other way isn't right. I, th I think I, I would have got the same. That's very useful. Thank you very okay. much for sharing that. No Great. Thank you.